My name is Eugene Suyu, and we are in Tinkreen Studios' uh, headquarters right now. Two years ago, the 3D printer for consumers weren't readily available yet, and from there we really set out to build our own. So there's a couple reasons why a consumer will want one of these printers at home, and one of them could be that they are able to access their desirable objects faster than they could if they were to purchase it online or at a retail store. We want to really make the consumers themselves be able to operate these machines just like your, your paper printers at home. I think 3D printing is a way to allow for somebody to really start to customize their objects as opposed to buy something that's predefined in a store and, and it's that customizability factor about 3D printers that really make it different from all the other ways to get your object right now. Tinkering and moving in the future is really moving into the educational realm. We know that this technology is new and it is evolving and one of the, the lacking elements about 3D printers are, are the fact that designers, architects and, and anybody trained in the 3D realm knows exactly how to use it. But your average consumers start to struggle a bit in terms of getting something that they have in their minds out into the physical world. And so we're moving a lot into the, into the actual educating of the individuals and the consumers that is going to be using it. While we might not have thought that we could have built a company to where it is today, we wanted to challenge ourselves, seeing if the skill sets that SFU taught us allow us to develop a product, but also look into those unknowns that we could gain through experience that SFU didn't teach us. And there was a lot of learning in the process, but I think we've actually achieved quite a bit throughout the two years that we've operated.